Jeff Pigues has more detail on the FBI's investigation. In his letter to members of Congress, FBI Director James Comey said that his investigative team briefed him yesterday on the new emails. Sources say the messages could total in the thousands. Good morning. Before today, it looked like the case was over. On July 5th, Comey scolded Clinton for using the private email server, but the FBI stopped short of recommending charges. There is evidence to support a conclusion that any reasonable person in Secretary Clinton's position or in the position of those with whom she was corresponding about those matters should have known that an unclassified system was no place for that conversation. About three months later, Comey's statement was still drawing the ire of Republicans. Because it looks to me like some things were done differently that I don't recall being done back when I used to work with it. I hope someday when this political crisis is over, you will look back again on this, because this is the FBI you know and love. This was done by pros in the right way. That's the part I have no patience for. Comey has held positions in both Republican and Democratic administrations and bristles at suggestions that he takes sides. But the timing of today's revelation has angered some former Department of Justice employees. Former spokesman Matthew Miller called the disclosure inappropriate on Twitter and suggested that Comey had broken a cardinal rule. The Justice Department goes out of its way to avoid publicly discussing investigations, Miller said, especially close to an election. Late today, we learned the emails were found on a laptop shared by Abedin and Weiner. Scott Comey has said high-profile investigations make him feel pressure to do things quickly and do it well. Tonight, his critics are wondering if he has failed on both counts. Jeff Pegues on the breaking news. Jeff, thank you. 